This story comes from Ashley Ramsden and Sue Hollingsworth. Colin lived out in the country. He had one good neighbor. That was his friend, John. They had been friends since they were boys. They went to school together. They were best friends at each other's weddings. They had watched each other's families grow up. Their properties were right next to each other. Now that their children were married and their wives were buried, all they had left were their farms and each other. But then one day they had an argument. It was about a stray calf that neither of them needed. John said it belonged to him, it had been found on his property. But Colin said it had all of the markings of his best milker, and he was sure it was his. Well, they could both be stubborn, and so they just stopped talking to each other. And a few days later, Colin was in his kitchen and he looked out the window and he could see at the upper pond above their properties, John had a digger and he was digging a ditch. A ditch that was quickly filling with water from the pond, separating their two properties. Well, Colin could feel the anger rising up in him and he was just plotting his revenge when there was a knock at the door. He wasn't expecting anyone. And when he opened the door, there was a young man with a box of tools on his strong shoulders. And he said, I'm a carpenter. I'm looking for work. Do you have any jobs here for me? Colin invited him in and he made him a cup of tea and a sandwich. And as they were sitting and talking, Colin had an idea. Yes, I do have a job for you, he said. Come to the window and look. See that ditch there filled with water? My neighbor John, my good friend John, all these years, he dug that ditch. He's my friend no longer. I want you to go one better. I want you to build a big fence, tall enough that I don't have to look at that ditch or his farm again. Can you do that? Well, the carpenter said that if there were wood and nails, he could probably get it done that afternoon. Colin said yes. All the wood and all the nails he needed were in the barn. So the carpenter got to it and all went according to his plan. Colin had some things to do in town, so he drove off and he was gone most of the day until just about sunset and when he came back he rounded the barn anxious to see how the fence was going. But he did not see a fence. He saw a bridge. A beautiful bridge, well built, a handrail and everything. And striding across the bridge was his neighbor John with his hand outstretched. Colin, look what you've done. I go and dig a ditch and you build a bridge over it. I couldn't have done that. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. Let nothing come between us again. Well, Colin had to admit it was not his idea to build the bridge. It was the carpenter's. And the two men looked at the carpenter. There he was putting his tools away. Friend, they said, stay with us. We have plenty of jobs for you here. The carpenter looked at them with kindness in his face and he said, I'd love to stay, but I have a long road ahead of me and a lot more bridges to build. <laughs>